Governor, thanks for joining us tonight. So it's not surprising to me that a lot of people want to get out of these blue states and go to where all the freedom is. But let's face it, as beautiful as South Dakota is, it's not very sunny most of the year. It's cold. And yet you're getting this boom. You must be doing something right. Why are people coming to South Dakota? Yeah, Rachel, you're exactly right. I tell people that Folks don't move to South Dakota for our beaches or for our, um, <laughs> you know, tropical weather, especially in January right now. But they're coming here because they want to be like us. Uh, they want to live somewhere where their government respects them and uh, where they let them use personal responsibility to take care of their families, make the best decisions for them and let them be free. And overwhelmingly, the amount of people that have moved to this state by the thousands um, have told us that that's exactly it. They want the way of life that we have, and we have the way of life that we have here because we have a small, limited government that understands what its job is and what its job is not. Yeah, you've definitely stood strong throughout this pandemic, um, taking a lot of bullets, a lot of arrows from people who were attacking you for keeping your state free. There's another reason why I think a lot of people want to move and live in South Dakota, and that's because you have a commitment to life. And so last year at your State of the State address, I was with you with my little daughter, mm -hmm. Valentina, who was your special guest. Uh, she has Down syndrome yes, and you, in, you were talking about a bill that you wanted to have in South Dakota to make sure that babies who were given a diagnosis of Down syndrome weren't going to be exterminated because of that diagnosis. And um, now you have the State of the State address once again, a, a year later, and you're introducing some more legislation that you want um, you want to see on your desk. You want some, in, some of this legislation on your desk and you wanna take action on it. And these are pro-life bills. But I wanna hear more about those bills. Absolutely. And Rachel, when you and your family came and brought little Valentina to South Dakota for the State of the State Address, it was powerful. In fact, I don't know if you've even heard, but when that bill passed last legislative session, it was unanimous. Every single wow. legislator voted for that bill. They voted to protect these babies that have a diagnosis of Down syndrome to ensure that they have equal opportunity to live wonderful lives just like every other child does. So that was pretty special. This year, what I'm introducing and what I talked about today in my State of the State address was two different provisions. I did an executive order to ban telemedicine abortions. And that's an abortion where mm -hmm. someone can get on the internet or on the phone talk to any stranger and get a pill sent to them that they take to take an abortion. Um, and I did that executive order to stop it. Now I'm asking my legislators to put it into law. It is four times more likely that a woman who gets a chemical abortion like that to end up in the emergency room. It's very dangerous. And we do not want women exposed to a procedure like that. And we want to protect those babies. The second bill is a bill that has to do with stopping abortion the moment that you can detect a heartbeat. Uh, and it is modeled a bit after the Texas law uh, with some slight changes, which should make it stronger in court as well. But we think it's incredibly important that when we detect a heartbeat that we ensure that all abortions stop. And I'm looking forward to the day that Roe v. Wade is ended in this country, but South Dakota will do everything we can to protect every life that we can. Well, you're doing a great job. You are a champion for life. And thank you, especially for that bill um, about chemical abortion and, and telemedicine. Um, mm -hmm. We don't want young girls having, you know, an abortion by themselves in their bathroom. Um, exactly this is right. not what, what, what we want as moms. Um, thank you so much, Governor. You're a champion. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Rachel. Yep. Have a wonderful All day. All right.